Hello everyone, welcome back to Galicia's Tea. Happy February, happy Black History Month. In the beginning of each video for this month, I will be sharing some Black History facts. Um, this is something that I wanted to do just to embrace my culture, learn some new things that I did not know, and some things that aren't talked about enough in like on TV and for Black History Month specials. Um, I just wanted to share some things with you guys that I learned. And also shout out to my aunt because I had called her and asked her for some help. And one thing I know about my aunt, she is like embraced in all of her blackness. And that's something I always looked up to her, especially like going to school when I would get teased about my big nose and my skin, my complexion, all that. Um, even though I went to a predominantly black school in a black neighborhood, um, middle class black America in Queens, I would get teased about my skin tone and how big my nose was. My teachers were majority black, um, the staff was majority black, so the fact that I got teased, now that I look at, look at it, it makes no sense. Um, I didn't go to a predominantly white school until high school, where there was like maybe eight to ten of black kids in the graduating class out of 80. So um, yeah, if anybody helped me really embrace my blackness was my aunt so thank you auntie shout out to you um you probably didn't even know that because that's not something i share but um anyway yeah so it's black history month and i challenge each of you to support a black owned business whether it's buy something whether it's share their website or their social media comment and liking so that the algorithm notices them and boosts them up on their explore pages across social media so yeah that's my challenge for you guys um as i and sharing these facts with you. So as I'm sharing these facts with you and you guys are learning, I am learning with you guys. I am also, I've been saying this for so long, maybe like the last two to three years, how every like Sunday I wanted to just take like 20 minutes to share facts like these with my children so that they learn their culture, they learn the positive side. Um, of course, I talk to them about how rich our culture is. But for them to actually see it, because I think they're visual learners, like I'm a visual learner, for them to actually see it and, you know, I think it'll be good for them because they're definitely not going to learn it in school. Um, where I live, it is not um, too many of us, especially with the administration and staff. So it is my job as their mom for me to teach them their history. And as I'm learning my history... I'm sharing it with you guys and I'm going to be sharing it with my kids. My aunt sent me so many books that's like age appropriate for them. So I'm definitely going to be um, buying them soon. And just so that they are aware of who they are. I mean, I talk to them all the time about, you know, how, you know, they are black and the culture is different to embrace it, to embrace their blackness, but also to embrace, you know, other cultures and be respectful to other cultures. But I just, I don't think I really started embracing my blackness, even though I watched my aunt growing up not being ashamed of who she was. But I don't think I really embraced my blackness until I got older. Um, like, I appreciated my natural curls. There are times when I'm, like, doing my hair, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, my hair is so pretty just in its natural state. So, um, yeah, that's that. So... That is my goal for the end of the year, as far as life-wise, is to, maybe not every Sunday, but maybe like once a month, just look at some pictures, just Google some stuff. I know my aunt gave me like some type of game to play with them, so yeah, that's that. So this nail set is an appray dupe. I'm using the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips, and also, uh, sorry for the noise, Jade is... Well, if you guys don't know by now, then you know Jade is always with me, so she is playing with her little kitchen. So, sorry for all the noise. I'm trying to talk over her as much as I can, but sometimes she outdoes me. But anyway, um, I'm using this glue gel from Nails Cat Cat. It is so strong. Um, my nails have not popped off. Usually when I do this, my nails pop off like the next day. Also, um, because of my prep. And I really took the time to do like an extensive nail prep before I did this. I did not show it. I just show you guys what I used. 
so the nails are holding on strong the only thing that hasn't hold, held on strong was um the little heart sequins i guess i probably should have glued them down and not just put them over a top coat um because maybe like an hour after i finished doing this set they just started coming off um so it's almost been a week and i have like three hearts left but i mean it still looks cute because on my nails it looks like a indent of a heart and i'll post a picture somewhere on this video so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i'm gonna get off this because i gotta go get my son soon from school and then it's basketball game night and i also um switched up the editing i found an app to use for editing so the editing is a little switched up so let me know what you guys think also we're almost at 100 subscribers when i do get to 100 subscribers there will be a giveaway thank you all thank you all for all your support as always um i'm about to get up out of here so be good to you be good to others happy like history month catch you guys in the next one bye